Hi, I'm Justin. Good to see you want to learn how to create a custom product page for your WordPress site. In this video my friend Rick is going to show you how to do this using Elementor. By the way, in case you don't know, Elementor is one of the best page builders and easiest to use for WordPress. Any changes made in Elementor are shown as you make them, so this will make editing a lot easier. At the end of this video I will also be providing you a free access code to my paid internet marketing membership club. So make sure to listen for the code and instructions at the end. Okay, so without further delay, take it away Rick. Sometimes the WooCommerce single page templates that they have for the products are boring and they're all controlled by your theme. Well in this video, we're going to discuss how to actually make a custom template for your products using the Elementor Page Builder. So right now we have our template and this is the Astra theme and this is what their basic product template looks like. So we have something along the lines of the categories, the breadcrumbs, uh, add to cart, the price, the short description, and some other items down here. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to get started. We're going to go ahead and navigate to Elementor and go to My Templates. From there, we're going to go ahead and add a new template. Select Single Product. And we're going to name this Single Product right here and Create. From here, you're going to recognize the famous Elementor page builder that we have right here. Uh, don't worry about any of this. This is a demo site that I imported using Astra Premium Sites. And this is just basically all footer content. So right here we have the Elementor Page Builder. So we can go ahead and add a new section here. And we have all the same options that we normally do with the uh, Elementor Page Builder for our other pages. So normally you have your images left here and then you have all of your information on the right, and then you have some more additional information down here. But we're gonna go ahead and change that up a bit. On the left-hand side, you're gonna see a new product categories for the elements. We have a bunch of different uh, elements that are going to get us through making a single product page. And I'm sure that these are gonna be updated and more are going to be added to this list as time goes on. So you have things like your product title, your product images, and the price. Things like your ratings and your tabs. So everything's here that you need to recreate a, an Elementor um, single product or something that you can enhance on the current theme that you're using. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to do a simple uh, two column setup. And from here, we're going to drag our product images over here. And we have our product image, we have the sale tag, we have that zoom tool, things, all of those things that we need. And then we can go ahead and start dragging in some other items. We have the product title, so we can go ahead and add this title over here. We can actually add the title anywhere we want. So it doesn't always have to be the standard. And I know it's going to be hard to come up with some template ideas that, you know, it's, uh, that strays from the normal single product template, but I'm sure you guys will come out with some great ones. And once people start releasing um, their templates and seeing what other people have created, then all your creative juices are going to start flowing through. So we have the title over here, and when we go ahead and edit this, we have all of the same style options. So we can go ahead and style this however we want. Change the topography so it's larger or smaller, and we also have the same options for the font family, and then the weight, style, transformation, things of that nature. Let's go ahead and continue to add. Let's go ahead and add the short description because I want to go ahead and add that. We can change the text color, the topography, so we can have this uh, 16 size. Maybe I want to add a background to this. And then let's add some padding. Alright, 
then we can go ahead and add some other stuff here. Let's do uh, the product price. So we can add the price right below here. And then of course we want somebody to be able to add it to the cart. So we're gonna add the add to cart button. Maybe like over here. We can center this, uh, justify it, right align it. There's all of these different options that you can do. Let's go ahead and justify this fully across. Let's go ahead and add some other meta. So we can go ahead and add our categories, all of our things of that nature. We can go ahead and stack them, inline them, make it a table, whatever we want to do to, short, to sort that out. And if you notice, you can't see it right now because it's highlighted, but if I click off, it adds a great little divider right above that so that it separates it from the rest of the content. And then we also have some product content, additional information, product tabs. Let's go ahead and add, uh, let's go ahead and add our product tabs right down here. So we have this, let's add a little bit of margin above it. So we have our description and our reviews right here. We can go ahead and drop down into the panel, create all of our styling down here and as well as the tabs, so we can do the background colors so that it can match whatever we wanted to do. Let's go ahead and continue on with some product content. So the contents of the actual long text description, which is this right here. And then we also have some different additional information. If you want to add related or upsell products, we can go ahead and just add those here. And those don't necessarily have to be uh, right here, they can always be somewhere else, so they don't have to be at the bottom. And then we have some additional information like product rating. We can add that if there's a, if you guys have a rating system for your shop. I don't currently have any ratings, so it's not going to show very well. And then we have uh, product stock, so we can go ahead and show the current stock things of that nature. If you guys want to go ahead and get a little bit more creative with these, we can go ahead and go to the columns and we can add the columns and text in one column, the price in another column and just kind of sort that out of how you guys want to make it that look. Do something along those lines right there. Let's go ahead and add this above. Let's go ahead and take this back out. We're going to go ahead and delete this. So this is at your average looking um, single product template. There's a lot that we can do with this. So we can also do things with the columns of the, the styling. So we can go ahead and do a background type. Have this be another one. So we do that, have some padding to that. We can also add the border to have the shadow. So we can add the shadow here. Let's go ahead and spread this out just a little bit more. So to along these lines, let's add some, let's add some pad, uh, margin to the top of this. Something along those lines. Style this up with a border. Add a solid border of one. All right, border radius none. So we can do something along those lines to where we have the box shadow here. Let's go ahead and dial that box shadow back a little bit. All right, so there we go. We have something along those lines. We have a different and unique looking product template. So different from this one, then we have something that looks a little bit like this. So we can add our headings as we want. We have all of our same um, elements here. So we can have a heading here or something along about this product. So we could do something along those lines. 
And then we also have things like the dynamic tool for the heading. So we can also use this to our, to our advantage. So we could do the post title and then do about the evergreen lush. So we can add that so that it's not always just static headings and things of that nature. We want a lot of things to be dynamic on this template because it's going to be across multiple products. So we could do about the, the evergreen lush and then the evergreen lush will always change based on uh, what product you're viewing at that time. So we can always do that. It doesn't always have to be static. This is a great way if you want to add a call to action to the bottom of your Let's see, to the bottom of your uh, single product template. So we can go ahead and add a call to action so that it's down there on every single product. And that way people can actually have a call to action to go to and have something to do while they're on their product page, especially if you're running a catalog only and you don't have things that are necessarily for sale. All right, let's see what we've got here. So we have a couple looking different looking things here and then we can go ahead and style it however we want let's go ahead and change the style here so we have those options now that we've got our single product template designed we need to apply this to all of our products so we can go ahead at the bottom left and hit publish and what this is going to do is this is going to ask us uh, where do we want to display this so we want to add a condition and we want to make sure that all products are selected. Now the great thing about this is you can actually design different templates for different things. For example, if you have a single template that you want to use for all your products, perfect. You can go ahead and do it right here. If you want to do specific categories, you can choose that and then have all of your categories listed here that you want this to show up for. So maybe you have um, specific categories that have colors. You can make the background different colors, things of that nature. And then you also have the tag selecting as well, which gives you the same options. So we have all products in category and in tag. We can also add multiple conditions. So if we want it to be in the category of this, and but we also want it to be in the tag of this, you can go ahead and, and include all of those inclusions uh, for your condition. And then if you click this drop down, we can do exclude. So all of the categories except for the ones in this tag. So we could do something along those lines, or you can do all products except for the ones in the category of this one. And then make sure this one is under exclude. So we can do all products except for this category. So that's a great way for you to go ahead and manage where you're showing this single template. All we have to do is just go ahead and hit publish. All right, so now that we have this published, let's go ahead to our single product and refresh the page. All right, so let's go ahead and show this a little bit. We have the product title, we have the image, we have the price. We have that dynamic heading that we created along with the short description and our metadata. And then we, of course, we have our add to cart over here underneath and then our description and things of the, things of that nature. So right now we have our great looking single product template that we've just, that we've designed here using an Elementor page builder. And we, all we have to do is if, if in the future we ever want to change where this template is applied to, we just go back to editing this with Elementor, go down here to the save options and just go back to the display conditions. From there, we can just change where we want to display our single product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't yet, turn on the notification bell. And we will see you guys at the next one. Thanks. Wow, that was easy. Now you know how to make a custom product page for your WordPress store using Elementor Pro. I have a link in the description below if you want to get the free or pro version of Elementor. You will need the pro version to create custom product pages to use in WooCommerce.
If you are just starting out and need hosting and a domain name, make sure to check out the link below for SiteGround Hosting. You will find they have very fast and reliable hosting for a great price. They also have a lot of very positive reviews, so that should mean they are doing something right. Also to get the free or pro version of Elementor, see the link in the description below. Finally, since you took the time to watch this video till the end, you can access some of my paid courses for free today. You just need to look for the link in the description that says, free, private, access. Once you click on that link, you will see an access web page. All you need to do to gain free access to the private membership club is type in 7, 6, 5, 4. You can then join my internet marketing membership club for free. I also listed some other very useful information below. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and don't forget to like and click the notification bell to get updates. I should also mention that I have a video on using Elementor with WordPress, so look for it in the links below so you can get started fast. Okay, until next time, take care.